Working on approximately 135 acres, the South Florida Fair puts on their annual event for the 106th year. Exciting for guests of all ages, the food stands, shops, rides, and games make the event entertaining for all. We get the question of when do you start planning the South Florida Fair every year? And the answer to that is that we start planning the next fair even before this fair is going on. The fair is, a, is one major event, but it's a, it's, a, it's a mix of hundreds of other much smaller events. Uh, and so as we, as we go through the planning process and as that planning process marches through the calendar, you get to a point where you have to say, okay, we're done for this year. Anything else that somebody brings up that's a new idea, we just have to, we, we just don't have the time to give it the, the interest level that we should because of all the other elements of the fair that we're working on. So we'll put that idea to the side and say, you know what, that's a good one to add for next year. So the process is truly year round. With 78 rides for guests to enjoy, the South Florida Fair sets up the event on a $16 million budget. Between the Midway Sky High to the Big Drop, the fair is extremely popular around the county. Big addition to this year's fair over, over any other year is the uh, Midway Sky Eye, which is the largest traveling observation wheel, Ferris wheel, in North America. And it's the first time it's ever appeared here. It's only appeared at um, six other uh, fairs and events uh, in the last year. And uh, it's, it's been very popular at the fair thus far. It, uh, it's a giant Ferris wheel. Those folks who have been at our fair in years past or have been at other fairs and ridden what would typically be called a giant wheel, those wheels are generally about 80 to 85 feet tall. The Midway Sky Eye is 155 feet tall, so it's almost twice the height, and it actually requires clearance from the Federal Aviation Administration to be able to set it up because it can be a hazard to aviation if it's not uh, properly lit with safety lights. So that's the biggest change. Difficult games located around the fairgrounds with giant stuffed animals appeal to guests looking for a challenge. As the children attempt the fair games, adults can purchase food or shop at stands located nearby, all of which help cover the costs to put on the event. Next year, the fair will open its doors between January 18th and February 3rd.